Hey everyone, time for us to get a little warm up in, so let's get right into it. All right, start walking in place, shake it out a little bit, shake out your arms, shake out your legs, keep moving, ah, stretch out a little bit sideways. Now that we're moving, you guys were sitting at the computer for too long. Now it probably gets a little boring, so that's why we're up and we're moving. Let's get our knees a little higher now. Good. I'm doing this inside because it's a little smoky outside. We don't want to be doing it outside where it's all hard to breathe and there's a lot of stuff in the air that's not healthy for our lungs. Stay healthy while we're doing this. So probably a good idea to do it inside. Right. Knees a little higher. Let's do elbow to knee. Start jogging in place a little bit. Nice and easy, nice and fast. Nice. Your arms moving, get them pumping. I don't think it will do it fast enough. We're going to mix in a little bit of jumping with our jog, so we're going to just jump. When I say up, we're gonna hop and then go right back to the jogging. Okay? So jogging, up, up. Right back to jogging. Up. Good. Right back to jogging. Up. 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 Okay, let's get our knees a little higher. some washing machine. So we're going to have our arms to the side here and twist, twist, twist. We're going to do this 20 times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Do some baby arm circles. 20 of them. For 20 seconds, I mean. 1001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Good. All right. We are going to do some toe touches. So we're going to spread our feet a little bit wider than our shoulders or as wide as our shoulders. You're going to put your arms out to the side like you're doing baby arm circles. And you're going to touch your hand to the opposite foot. So if I use my right hand here, I'm going to go to my left foot, touch my left foot, and then come right back up to my starting point, and then I'm going to switch. I'm going to take my left hand, touch my right foot, and come back up to my starting point. Okay, let's do 20 of these. One, keep your legs straight. Two, keep your legs straight. Six, 
10, halfway there. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. All right, good job, boys and girls. Now we're gonna do some flamingos. So I'm gonna start with my left leg. So, left hand, left ankle, grab it, pull it, grab the one, grab the two, grab the three, grab the four, grab the five, grab the six, grab the seven, grab the eight, grab the nine, grab the ten, grab the eleven, grab the twelve, grab the thirteen, grab the fourteen, grab the fifteen, grab the sixteen, grab the seventeen, grab the eighteen, grab the nineteen, grab the twenty. Switch! Right hand, right ankle. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five, thousand six, thousand seven, thousand eight, thousand nine, thousand ten, thousand eleven, thousand twelve, thousand thirteen, thousand fourteen, thousand fifteen, thousand sixteen, thousand seventeen, thousand eighteen, thousand nineteen, thousand twenty. All right. Spread our feet a little bit. Go straight down to the middle. We're gonna hang. Go down slowly, bend your arms if you need to, and just hang. Legs extended. Stay there. 20 seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015, 1016, 1017, 1018, 1019, 2019, Come up slowly. Good. All right, we're going to do some toe touches and jumps. So we're going to touch our toes, go down. We've done these before in other activities. Then we go straight down to the ground, touch our toes, and then jump up. Okay, let's do 20 of them. All right, now, if you're doing this inside, you're probably not going to get as close to the ceiling as I am, which is a good thing. So I'm going to try not to get too close to the ground. So, go down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, last one, 20. Good job, boys and girls. We're going to stretch our calves now. So what I'd like you to do is you're going to put your feet together to the side like this. You're gonna go down, almost in a push-up position. And you're gonna extend your right leg, put your left foot behind your right foot like this and have your right heel off the ground and push back on it until you feel tightness in the back of your calf, which is this part of your leg. Okay, 20 seconds. Number one, number two, number three, 2004, Okay, come on up. And shake it out, I'm getting sweaty. Alright, right arm across your chest, pull your right elbow with your left hand. 
1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015, 1016, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020. All right, let's switch. Left arm across your chest, pull over with your right hand. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, I'm gonna give you about three minutes to get some water. Okay, get some water, come back, and we'll jump straight into the activity. Okay, so three minutes water break, Come press pause, come right back. All right, good job, boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. Today's fun activity is gonna require a few things of equipment, so before you get started, I want you to ask your parents' permission first, okay? Because what you're gonna need are a couple of chairs or maybe some low tables that are not made um, with cloth, that are hard, made of wood or metal, something hard, okay? You're gonna need two of those. You're gonna need two sheets of paper. You're gonna need a pen, a pencil, a crayon. Um, I would stay away from markers and you will need some tape as well okay so grab these items and an open space and then come back press play and we'll get started okay now that you are ready to go here's what's going to happen you are going to place the chairs about six feet apart one two three four five six feet apart okay and with your paper, you're going to draw a line with your mark, oh, not your marker, your crayon or your pencil or pen. You're going to draw a line right through the middle of the page. Okay, not top to bottom, but from the left hand side of the page all the way over to the right hand side of the page. Okay, I'll explain why in a second. After you do that, you are going to tape each sheet of paper to the seat, to the chair. And like I said, make sure that you're not taping this to a fabric chair or any kind of cloth chair or something that you can puncture or mark, okay? Now you can leave, I'll leave my tape here. I don't need it anymore now that I have taped two sheets. If you're doing this indoors, you probably don't need tape. I'm only using the tape because um, the wind and yeah basically the wind could blow it away all right but we're going to be doing the minute to win it challenge here okay here's how it goes you're going to be going from side to 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 side, 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 side back and forth as quickly as you can and each time you get to the chair you're going to make a mark on one side, make a mark on the other, then make a mark on the other. And we're gonna see how many marks you can make in one minute, okay? Now, why did we draw a line between, in the middle of the page, from the left-hand side to the right-hand side? Why do we draw a line? Well, because we're gonna be doing this for several rounds. So, if you start on round one, you're gonna be marking the top of the page. You have to stay above that line, on the top half of the page. Okay, same thing when you go to this side. You're gonna be going to the top half of the page. Don't mark the bottom, only the top. All right, and at the end of one minute, we will see how many marks you have. The more marks, the better. We'll see how many I can even do, right? So, here we go. Does that make sense? We're gonna go, mark, run over, mark, run over, mark, back and forth, back and forth. One minute challenge. We're gonna see how many we can do, all right? so. I will start in the middle here. Yeah, let's start in the middle. And then we'll go boom, mark, boom, mark. Here we go. And go. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five, thousand six, thousand seven, thousand eight, thousand nine, thousand ten, thousand eleven, twelve, thousand thirteen, thousand fourteen, thousand fifteen, thousand sixteen. 
a minute to win a challenge as you can see I'm pretty out of breath here so let's count let's see how many I got on this side I got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 here here I got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 12 13 14 15 15 16 so 31 I got 31 marks. Not too bad, right? Okay. We'll take a little break now. All right, take a little break. Relax. We got warmed up for the game. We're moving into this slowly. Now, on the bottom half, here's what you're going to do. The bottom half, we're going to be doing this all over again. We're going to be marking it down again. However, we're not going to be running back and forth to each one. We are going to be hopping on one foot, okay? I don't care which foot it is, I don't care if you want to switch feet, that's fine, but you have to hop from one to the other and you will see that it's going to be drastically lower than the score that we just got. But that's okay, it's expected to, we're only using one leg, one foot, right? So that's what's going to happen. So we're going to start here, once you catch your breath, get some air, then we will start with going over there and over there, hopping, hopping, back and forth, hopping, back and forth, back and forth, alright, with one foot. Now. Uh, moving ahead, on the back of the page, you're going to flip it over and do the same thing. Draw a line right through the middle of the page, okay? And we're going to do it all over again, except you're not going to be hopping on one foot. We are going to be hopping with two feet. You hop with both feet, both feet, both feet, kind of like a bunny hop. So imagine that your feet are tied together and you have to hop like a bunny. And then mark, hop like a bunny back to this side and then make another mark okay so we're gonna do that on the top part of the back side of the page and then when we're all done with that in the last round I will let you choose you can do whatever you want you can do sideways shuffle like this get creative this is where I want you to get creative you just cannot do running it can't just be running because we already did that do something new something we haven't done it cannot be one foot hopping. It cannot be a bunny hop with two feet, okay? Think of something new. If you want to make sure, try to do it backwards, make sure that there's nothing that you can trip on or fall over and get your parents' permission, but mark, and then you can do backwards. But I don't want you to fall in the chair, so run to the side of the chair. Never run directly between the chairs. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so again, I want you to do these. The first one's gonna be running. Second one is hopping on one foot. Third one, we're going to turn the page over because it'll be spent at that point and you tape it down again if you want. On the top of the page, we'll be doing the bunny hop, both feet together. And then after that, it's optional. You do what you would like to do, however you would like. Sideways, hopping backwards. Just like I said, make sure that you are safe. You have your parents' permission. I don't want you to hop, be hopping and going backwards and hit your head on the chair or anything else around the house. So clear the area and don't hop around there. In fact, I wouldn't even recommend hopping backwards at all. I would do the shuffle, but if you have a more creative and safe way, run it by your parents first. Make sure that it is safe, okay? Make sure it's safe and that your parents know that you're doing this before you get started. Okay? This is a fun game. It's a good little workout. We get the blood flowing and we feel good afterwards, okay? I hope you enjoyed the Minute to Win It Challenge. Have fun. Challenge your brothers or sisters, somebody else in your family. Get creative. And I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Take care. Bye.